comes to tree decor, I'm going to go over how I'm using Pinterest to drive traffic to my website, uh, which is triggering Google AdSense to pay me. So come on along and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, guys, so we're back here and it's uh, Jolene with Home Stitchery Decor and I'm teaching you how to drive traffic to your website using Pinterest um, from your product page on your Shopify website. And you can do this off of WooCommerce, Wix, Square, etc. websites. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do is open up your Pinterest account and make sure that you actually have a business account. So if you don't have a business account yet, you need to uh, go over uh, to the right hand corner of Pinterest and just click on your down arrow and change your settings. So basically just walk through the steps uh, to change your business over to an actual business page. And it's important that you have a business page here because Pinterest won't let you um, tag things um, and hook up to your website unless you have a Pinterest account um, as a business account. So once you have the business account, you're gonna need to claim your website. Um, as you can see here, I have my homestitcherydecor.ca claimed and I've got Instagram, Etsy, and YouTube claimed here as well. So um, we've got these all claimed and what happens with that is when I go to my pins, I'll just show you a recently um, posted pin here. I'll go to my, oh, sorry. I want to go to my shop pins so you can see what I'm talking about quite clearly. And now I'm going to just pick a project here that I've put a pin on. So when you have a business account, all this text for your title appears in black. So that's how you know that your website is uh, hooked up to Pinterest and how you're going to be able to share your um, Shopify pins over to Pinterest uh, easily and then drive traffic back to your website. And we all know that traffic back to our website equals ad money, equals passive income, equals more time with our family. So um, once we've got our business account um, and it's all linked up on the back end on the Pinterest side, you can come over here to your um your Shopify store. I'm just showing you Shopify because that's what I have. And make sure that you've got everything linked up here as well. Um, if uh, Pinterest gives you a file, you'll have to upload it under the files portion here. So it's under settings of your uh, website. And then under files, um, they may add have you add a TXT file to that portion of it. And uh, you want to make sure that you've got it hooked up to sales channels as well. So here's all my sales channels. If I want to add another sales channel, I can look up which ones to add. Um, so Messenger, Wholesale. I've basically got all mine hooked up. Um, mess you can sell right off Messenger. You can sell right off eBay. Um, but basically, I already clicked through all the links there and uh, made sure that I've got Pinterest hooked up as um, a shopping outlet for my channel. So now that we've got all that set up and we know that everything's linked through, it's time to test our theory as to how to get our products over there. Um, so now I'm just gonna open up the regular web page um, for my web page just by putting in my own um, web address in uh, Google search and pull it up. So now I know that I've got a catalog here of um, items. I'm just going to close this ad because that's a Google ad that pops up between switching pages. So I've just got products here and now I'm going to make sure that this product I can link over to my um, Pinterest store. So I'm going to select a product, just click on it. And when it pops up here, it's going to tell me, oh, where would you like to share this product? Just scroll through. I had it there for a second. Now I'll find it again. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I can now share this product on Facebook. I can tweet it or I can pin it. So we're going to choose pin it. So we just click on it. And now we're going to choose a board that it goes on to. Um, so I've got quite a few boards here that I'm building. Um, let's just put it under uh, dish towels. And now I'm going to go through and make sure that I've got um, that it's showing up here. So it's going to bring all the relevant information over from my website, all the lingo. And it's going to tell people if you want this, you can click through back to my website. So every time somebody sees one of these products on Pinterest and decides that they want to go and see the product, um, my website here will show up in the middle and I can just click on that and look a new 
uh, tab opened up over here and it's going to bring up my website again. And what that does is it triggers Google to say, oh, we've got another uh, winner here. They are checking out the Home Stitchery Decor website. So when I go back to my Pinterest page, um, every single project that I'm doing, I'm making sure that I'm uh, making proper pins for the projects. So we can just go through here onto Created. Um, and you can see in the last few months, I've now drove my traffic up to monthly views of 34.5 thousand views, which is quite significant. I'm not too worried about the followers and the following right at this minute, um, just because I'm trying to consistently create um, pins uh, that people click through to. So look at this one, for instance. This one um, here has got 332 eyes on it and four clicks. So those are clicks back to... Um, my website, so I, I hope, um, and I'll go and check my analytics later and, and let you know, but um, basically the more eyes on the project and the more um, clicks on the, um, these might be clicks on the pin, they might not be clicks right back to the um, website, but anyway, um, you can see here that I've got several pins coming up and they're all the same. They tell you you know, um, I've put this overlay text on the ones I've hand created, not just uh, brought over from my store, but I'm at home stitchery decor, I'm handcrafted home decor, I'm featuring coordinated kitchen decor and circuit art SVG patterns. Um, I mix it up between the pins, so I want to make sure that I'm giving um, the viewers a good variety of pins. So I might have a carousel pin, I might have an idea pin, I might have a still image pin, I might have a video pin. Um, and we can go back here and just look at another pin that I've created, uh, just so you can see how I'm mixing it up a little bit. Yeah, so look at this one here. This one is 213 views on it. There are six people that have clicked on the pin. And it's going to show you a video. This video I took while I was at the Airdrie Farmer's Market a couple of weeks ago. So basically I'm using every single opportunity I can to make sure that I'm videotaping and um, making uh, evergreen uh, media and patterns and PDF downloads um, and free resources for people to follow along with me. So this pin can live here for forever and people are gonna go know, oh look, that's home stitchery decor. I can click on this pin and follow her to a farmer's market and she's going to have all of these kind of products there available for me to purchase. And if I go over to her website and I pick on a project or a product, um, there's going to be links back to my YouTube videos, links back to my Pinterest, links back to my um, color palettes or my PDF downloads on the projects. And then this is going to create uh, a loop of passive income for me. So if I just do this consistently uh, for years, I'm guessing it's going to take years, um, this will consistently drive traffic back to my website. And uh, once I get over um, a thousand uh, clicks to my website, or, I'm sorry, not a thousand clicks to my website, uh, that's for YouTube. Um, YouTube, once you get a thousand uh, subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within a 12 month period, you can get monetized. On my website, um, I've already got Google AdSense. I've already qualified for Google AdSense. And once I get my page views up on my website, over 25,000 page views a month, and then some other um, you know, qualifying factors, I can apply for other media companies such as Mediavine and increase my revenue that way. Um, so here's a great little trick. I mean, every single thing that you're doing, make a video on it, make a PDF pattern on it. Uh, make sure that you're taking your Pinterest images um, in the ratio that they've told you to. If you're not sure, um, you know, all the ins and outs of the exact details for how to use Pinterest. Uh, Anastasia Blogger, uh, so her name is Anastasia Blogger. She has some great videos on YouTube about how to use Pinterest and the exact steps for um, sizing, how many pins you should be making a day. And um, eventually... Um, I'm going to be switching over to Tailwind as well, which is another uh, program that will automate 
uh, my pins, but I want to concentrate on another project this week. So I'm going to put that off for a couple of weeks until I have um, some time to actually focus on that. Um, but there's ways to automate how many pins you're putting on your uh, Pinterest account as well. So make sure you go check out uh, Anastasia Blogger and her videos on how to do this. And uh, by all means, if you're getting value out of what I'm telling you, please hit the like button and hit subscribe because once I get to a thousand viewers, I'm going to get paid for creating this content for you guys. And how fun is that? Take care of yourselves. Comment below if this is working for you and let's cheer each other on. Mm -hmm.